guys, so today I have another drink inspired makeup tutorial for you guys and everything I used was drugstore. So today's drink was the Costa Peach Iced Tea and this was my first time trying it out. I normally get the Starbucks one but this is totally different to the Starbucks one. I did do a little taste test and although this is quite like a brown coloured drink I did kind of I was kind of inspired by peach and peachy colours so that's what I've done today. As you guys know I love doing these drinks inspired uh, makeup tutorials and I feel like you guys love it too um, so make sure to write in the comments below what other drinks you'd like me to do uh, I think next time I'll probably do like a raspberry one my local Costa doesn't have the rice raspberry iced tea so I need to get it in another Costa so I will do that soon but yeah thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video and we'll jump straight into it I'm just gonna first of all taste the drink got it right here I get so excited I don't really get that many drinks because when I like a drink I just stick to that one so I always used to get spicy chai latte so I'm kind of like broadening my options that's even a saying I'm so bad at English right, when you think about it but yeah let me just take taste this that's good so it's definitely nothing like the um, Starbucks peach green tea this is this tastes very like strong PG tea you can definitely taste the tea in it it tastes like tea with no milk but a strong peachiness to it it's actually quite nice and really refreshing and they put like a little lemon in here that's so good that's a thumbs up from me I'm just gonna put that aside and keep that for when I eat my food so much filming to do because I'm pre-filming today anyways let's just jump straight to it for my brows, I've already done them. I've used the Maybelline, what is this? Brow Precise Micro Pencil in Deep Brown. I really like this pencil. This is what it looks like. It's very similar to Brow Wiz. And then as always, I've used my Laura Brow Artist Plumper in Medium Dark. Oh, and I did go in with concealer around just to clean them up a bit. What are we doing next? So I've already prepped my skin and for foundation today, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna be using my Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in this is in the shade bronze. I haven't used this in a while, but actually before I'm gonna use some of my LA Girl Pro Corrector in orange, just around the mouth. These nails are coming off today. I love them and they they're so pretty, but they're so hard to like, I can't type, I can't text, I can't do many things with these nails. This is why I only do like shellac. But they're so convenient, like, I would only wear these to, like, events or, like, special occasions because they're so pretty and they are, you can deal with them. They're so strong, like, the glue is really, really good. But I'm going to paint my nails today, like, I think this is what I would do. And I have so much revision, I can't even write with it. I was trying to plan my videos, couldn't write. I'm going to do my base first today. And then do it all in plain. This is why I need corrector because it's a tad lighter. It kind of does adapt to my skin tone, but because it's a tad lighter, it it can go ashy. So that's why I need my corrector. Like, look, but you'll see that in a bit. I think my light my lighting's too bright. So this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I'm using the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer in medium deep tan. Look at the difference. I've forgotten how good this foundation is. What? It's crazy. Okay, so where's my powder? Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Just clumsy old me. Anyways, for powder, I'm going to be using the W7 Banana Dreams Powder in... It's just a Banana Dreams Powder. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm just going to use a brush and just pack that underneath. Before you set, make sure there's no lines. So blend it out. You don't want to be setting those lines because then it's just going to stay like that. So make sure you blend it out before. And whatever you've got left on your brush, just set your whole face. And just brush off the excess. And I'm just going to hop on onto bronzer. 
for bronzer today I'm going to be using the Topshop bronzer in Salute. I really love this bronzer and when I like something a lot I do use it a lot in my tutorials so but yeah it's a really good bronzer. Blends so nicely. I make sure that I bring a bronzer to my temple so that there's no like gap there. And when I get like to this part, I really use less. You think I'm pressing really hard, but I'm barely touching my face, and that really helps to like diffuse the bronzer. So now it's time for some nice peach blush. So one of my favorites. I'm not gonna use the LA Girl one. I've been using that too much lately. So today I'm gonna be using this EX1 Pretty Peach Blush. Just look at it. Peachy crawliness. On. Look at that. It's not like overly bright or anything. It's just a really nice peach blush. D don't, don't, don't go too overboard. Don't go. Don't go there. Okay? Please. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Topshop highlighter. I've been into Topshop makeup lately. But this is the highlighter in Horizon or Horizon. But it's got this really nice bron bronzy, I would say a bit of warmth to it. I'm using a Zoeva Lux Cheek Finish Brush. Just gonna. Oh. Top Shop. I need to have a talk. I get so excited about highlighter, look at that. It does actually apply more cooler on my skin. But anyways, onto the eyes. I'm going to be using my Morphe 35O palette. And the reason being is because I haven't used it in a while and I, got, I get a lot of questions about it. But also it has a ton of like really nice peachy shades. Like this one, I think that would be my main colour. Or this one. I know the drink looks like brown. I'm just going to go, it's called a peach iced tea. So I'm just going to go with peachy colour. So all peach. I think I'm going to be using this shade right here. Just buff that all across. Then I'm going to go in with this colour right here. And just deepen that crease. Add a bit of like dimension. Don't try, try not to go completely over the other colour we've placed because you want to keep that warmth there. These eyeshadows are so, so easy to work with. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade. I really like pack this onto the inner and outer corner areas. You can go a bit on the crease line as well. And I'm also going to go in with that dark brown right here and just apply this on the inner and outer corner area. Try and deepen those areas. Before I go in with a lighter shade, I'm just going to use some of the concealer and I'm just going to like just carve this centre here. So once you're creating that line, go straight in with that light colour. I'm going to use this pure peach colour right here. I feel much brighter than I thought. I'm just applying some of the dark browns underneath as well, just to kind of like smoke it out. I'm gonna grab eyelash curlers. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the intense black one. And I'm just gonna apply a ton of mascara. Apply some falsies if you want, but I'm just gonna go with mascara today. I think I might keep it like that actually. I'm really happy with that. I don't think it needs glitter. I mean, if you want to make it like a glam look, then definitely go in with some glitter, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished both of my eyes and I'm really digging this eye look. It's really simple, but I don't know, it's smoky. I love this look anyways. Onto the lips, I'm using the Primark Lip Pencil in Toffee. I know I use this lip liner all the time but it's just really good because I am using a lighter colour lipstick so it's going to help that blend in with my skin tone, like be more suitable for my skin tone. I just kind of filled my whole lips. And then for lips today I'm going to be using the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss, basically a liquid lipstick. 
It's got this really nice peachiness. Honestly, this is the only like drugstore lipstick that I've found that has a nice peachiness to it. But even this is a bit light for me. Like, like look. It's almost pastel -y, So I have to mix it with a darker lip liner. This liquid lipstick isn't the easiest formula to work with. I had to do like two layers to get this colour payoff. I mean, it does it come out quite pigmented, but it goes a bit patchy. But like when it's on, it's the most beautiful colour. Like honestly, this is like, I still yet to have to find a lot of like drugstore lipsticks that have this colour because this is my favourite colour to wear. Anyways, that's the end of this Costa Peach iced tea inspired makeup tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this all peach makeup look thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to give it a big like and subscribe if you're new to my channel but yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye